Hi fashion, it's Haley Osacer. I'm going to be doing an evening look that I would wear to an event or something. I don't quite know what I'm gonna do, but I know that I wanna do something with blue and with sparkles and metallic and some sort of lipstick to anchor the look. I already have my foundation and everything on. I'll probably add a little bit extra later on, but that's already done and ready to go. Something that I love is I put on some lavender oil before I start doing my makeup. I didn't do it like every single day. Lavender is meant to calm you. So I put it on just like get in the zen makeup zone and get started. Definitely when I do eyeshadow, I always use a, a primer for it because I love to do a lot of different colors and that kind of thing. So this is by Annabelle, it's just an eyeshadow primer. You can put this underneath your eyes before you put on foundation. It really helps your foundation and concealer not break apart and get all like cakey underneath your eyes. And I actually put it on like I have blemishes and stuff because I just find that it helps smooth makeup over that. That's just a trick that I've learned really recently and it's kind of changed my life. So so I know that I want to do something blue because I've been wanting to do that for a little while. Like I kind of, I watched Austin Powers on last weekend so I think I'm really inspired by the Fembot. So I'm going to start with a metallic underneath to really make the colors pop and have a kind of shimmer underneath. I haven't actually tried this so let's hope it works and it's just super metallic and shiny. I think I have a hunch that it will be cool if I put it underneath the blue eyeshadow. But on my lid, I'm building it up so it's getting really like chromey and super silvery. So the blue that I'm using on my eyes right now is by Annabelle. Surprise, surprise, it's called Turquoise. I have no rules with beauty. I do what it, like I just kind of do whatever I'm feeling but often I match my um, makeup to my outfit. Not in a really obvious way, like for this I pulled out the blue from the flip phones. Like I probably wouldn't do all pink because that's just a bit much, but unless I'm like, oh, it changes from day to day. Sometimes I would wear like an all blue outfit, have blue hair, blue eyeshadow, blue lipstick, like just go crazy with the blue, it just depends. So this is more of like, I'd call it a smudging brush, I guess. Like shorter and tighter bristles on the brush because I don't want it to be too fluffy. I want it to be more concentrated. When I'm getting ready, I usually have like something like meatloaf or something really fun to plan getting me excited and ready for the event that I'm going to. I learned how to do makeup myself. I think that I'm still definitely far from being like a pro by any means, but makeup was a really easy way for me to express myself because you can take it off at the end of the day. So I always had crazy eyeshadow on and crazy makeup. Lipstick I didn't actually get into when I was a bit older because for some reason that seems a little bit more daring to wear crazy lipstick. I don't know why. Um, now I'm going to do this thing where I mix some glitter with this Max, MAC mixing medium. It's basically, I don't know what you would call it, like a kind of glue of sorts, but you basically put loose glitter into this. You can either mix it all together on your hand or you can put it on your face or wherever you're placing it and then put the glitter on top of that. My eyes are already so glittery, but it will really, when it hits the light, it'll really like come up in a big way. I'm all about adding dimension. I think it's nice to either have an eyeshadow that's just like straight up matte or having lots of different levels to it. Um, so now I'm going to put on some eyeliner in my inner waterline, just so I don't have like a weird um, pink waterline showing. And I think a really huge thing to take home from this is don't be afraid to like try something new. There's so many people on YouTube that are so amazing at doing these really insane makeup looks and that's just because that's their career. They do that like every single day. Don't be afraid to try new things. You're not gonna be as amazing as them overnight. I'm far from that and I have a collaboration with the Canadian makeup brand. So it's just all about having fun with makeup. It's not something to be taken so seriously. Just do it to kind of express yourself and try something new and different. So now I'm gonna put on some mascara. This is amazing. It's like just like a tiny, tiny mascara one, but it's perfect for getting your bottom lashes. I'm very clumsy, so otherwise I'd get like mascara all over my face, but it's perfect to really get in there in a really careful, like light-handed way. I like it when it's kind of like chunky and 
over the top. Now, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of concealer because I have like a little bit of sparkles. I don't really mind, but I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath my eye. Okay, so I definitely need some lipstick with this look. That pinky, puppy color that's very like 60s. I'm kind of going for the retro vibe with this look. I think that will tie it in and it's not gonna be too competing too much with my makeup on my eyes. It'll just kind of bring the look together. So I'm gonna fluff my hair up a little bit. It's called Volume Inflator. It's like volumizing finishing powder and spray. So it like helps your hair get volume. But I just kind of spray it underneath and it helps get a little bit of volume and it helps my hair just kind of stay put where it is. So now I have a little bit of volume and puff in my hair and I'm ready to like, who knows what I'm ready to do. <laughs> so when I finish my makeup, I don't like to look like, I have kind of dry skin, especially in this kind of temperature. So I like to first set my makeup with this. It's called Magnifix. It smells really nice in the bottles, like iridescent. So that's what drew me to it. So I just spritz it on my face. And then I put on this NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray because I don't really like my skin to look cakey or anything. I like it to look kind of like dewy and fresh. One other thing that I like to do because my hair is really dry on the bottom. I found this recently and it smells amazing, but it also just helps my hair feel nice. It's called Enforcer Brush Proof. It's a leave-in spray that you're supposed to help detangle, but it just helps like moisturize your ends. I just kind of spray it on the bottom of my hair and help smooth flyaways. I can't wash my hair very op often, so I like to stay away from hairspray as much as I can. So I feel like it just makes it really crispy and gross. And that's it. And it matches my jacket, so that's a bonus. <laughs> and that's it. Thanks for watching and checking out my crazy makeup look. Have an amazing day.